Okay, I think we're good. So, um, hey everybody, welcome to this amazing information call, amazing information Zoom, amazing information recording whenever you're watching it live on Facebook. My name is Jennifer Morris. I am a nutritionist out of Goderich, Ontario, Canada, and I'm super excited, you guys, to have a special guest on today. Her name is Carly. And uh, she is from the company called NutriSense. And I'm not gonna butcher her introduction, so I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Tell us a little bit about who she is, what she does, and how she found her way to NutriSense. And then we'll start to get into the nitty gritty of what is continuous glucose monitoring all about. Take it away, Carly. Awesome, well, hi everyone. First of all, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Like you mentioned, my name is Carly. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist. I'm in the Washington, Seattle area, um, and I work for a company called NutriSense. So we are a company that leverages continuous glucose monitoring technology with that instant feedback to help personalize your diet and help reverse or prevent preventable diseases. So we're kind of on this mission to focus and hone in on preventative health so less on treatment, but more on preventing those issues before they come up. Uh, I really got into this, this line of work because I started in a very traditional setting. Um, Jennifer, I don't know if you kind of had this experience too, but I was dealing with a lot of people that were coming to me, you know, just in an outpatient setting straight from their doctor after being diagnosed with maybe prediabetes, hypertension, um, heart disease, all these different things. And what I found is that they felt defeated, right? They felt discouraged. They had just come from their doctor, they had this diagnosis, and they were motivated to make a change, but a part of them felt like it was kind of a little late, right? I wish I could have had this information years ago so that I could make these changes. And that's the thing with all of these preventable diseases is that they take years, decades to develop, but we're missing those early warning signs in our treatment plans today that can kind of give us those little yellow flags and help us make um, changes early on. So my role there kind of had me interested, well, what information would be helpful for people to help prevent these diseases and kind of get on the right foot before this happens? And I started looking into glucose. And at this time, I didn't know what a CGM was. I didn't know what a continuous glucose monitor was. So I was using a little finger prick device. So if you've ever used one of those, I think that's what people think of when they think of measuring glucose. You prick your finger, you measure your glucose at that point in time, and you kind of compare it to where you should be to see where you're at. Um, and what I was finding is that my glucose was okay, but it wasn't optimal. It wasn't great. And I was eating really, really healthful, right? I'm a dietitian. I'm trying to eat whole foods. But what I found was I had to make some tweaks to my diet to get where I wanted to be. And with that glucose monitor, just finger prick device, it's really hard, right? Because you're just getting a snapshot in time. You're not getting the full picture. And so I, I looked into CGMs and thought they were pretty much the coolest thing ever. And when NutriSense was born, I immediately jumped on this because this is the answer to all of our preventative health metrics, right? This is the answer to personalizing your diet, finding what works for you, and identifying those metabolic abnormalities before they become a diagnosis. So really excited to be here and, and kind of talk about the company and what we do. That's cool. Awesome. So I guess I want to start with like really basic information because people may be at different places when they're watching this. So why should someone care about what their blood glucose actually is? That's a really good question. And like I kind of mentioned, we always think of monitoring glucose for diabetics specifically. So if I don't have diabetes, why would I monitor my glucose? And there are three main reasons that I think everyone should monitor their glucose and wear a CGM for at least a small time in their life. And that's three reasons. The first one is that it is that window into our metabolism. So we monitor, you know, like blood pressure, our waist circumference, all these different metrics. Uh, but glucose is our newest and our other vital sign. So it's that easy way to look into our metabolism and see how our diet is working, how our stress is affecting our metabolism, how exercise is affecting us. So it's kind of that window into our body to help us see what's going on underneath. Um, and when you think of glucose, it's kind of our main fuel source. 
So we need a certain level in our body at all times so that we can function properly. And um, when we're, our body tries to keep us in that range really, really well. So uh, we can get into the specifics of what that range is, but really just knowing that our glucose is in this tightly controlled homeostatic range at all times. So, and our body works really hard to keep it there. When we see glucose go either a little bit too high or a little bit below that range, that's that early warning sign that things aren't working optimally. And that's when we can kind of catch it and say, okay, we're going a little bit too high. How can we tweak some things and get us back into this range and uh, you know, alter our diet to really work with our metabolism? So high glucose is not a great thing. Like I said, when our, when our body gets above that range, it's working really hard to get us back down. So it's putting a lot of extra pressure on our bodies. In short term, you might not feel any differences. A lot of people will feel when their glucose is high or low or fluctuating, but sometimes people don't until they start to monitor. And that's when you can see those big swings in glucose or like those highs or those lows. Those can translate into poor energy levels, um, hanger, right? We all have that hanger. <laughs> um, but also just not being in touch with your hunger and fullness cues, maybe some anxiety, just feeling those energy crashes or cravings throughout your day. So those are some of the big things you might notice when you start to monitor just in the short term. And then long term, this can lead, you know, over time, those higher glucose values or glucose not being where it needs to be can lead to microvascular damage, inflammation, oxidative damage, and then ultimately insulin resistance, metabolic uh, dysfunction, diabetes, right? So that is over time. It takes decades to get there. But that's where we want to really look at it early so that we can prevent that. So that's okay. not number one. Um, and then number two is that it's common. So I think we, we always think that if I'm healthy, if I don't have that diagnosis, then maybe I don't have to worry about it. But the reality is most people that monitor their glucose go to those levels above glucose threshold at least a couple of times, right? I know I have, and I'm healthy. You mentioned that you had had one experience. Um, and we're healthy, we're active, we're doing the things that are supposed to be great for our body, but sometimes there's certain foods that maybe affect us a little bit more, or there's stress, or there's other things that can take us above this range, and it's common. An estimated 88% of us are not metabolically healthy. So identifying that, monitoring that can kind of see where we need to make those changes so that we can optimize our health. So that is reason number two. And then number three, and I think this is probably the most practical reason, is that everyone is different and there is no one size fits all diet. So if you ever have someone that's prescribing the same diet to everyone, that's a red flag because we all have those interpersonal differences in our genetics, in our microbiome, in um, just our timing and what works for our bodies that are going to make us respond differently to certain diets. A really good example of this, my colleague and I were pretty close in age, um, about the same weight. We both lift weights and do kind of the same exercise routine, but we have very different responses to foods. She will always spike to starchy vegetables like sweet potatoes, whereas my glucose does not really move at all. And that's kind of, you know, a, a food that everyone kind of generally thinks is healthy. So when we saw that, it was really interesting because if we weren't measuring, we wouldn't have known that. And so those are something I include in my diet a lot, and she might need to kind of tweak those or alter how much she's having of those foods. So those are the three things I think everyone should monitor their glucose for. Um, what's your experience been with, with just kind of finding what foods work? Yeah, I mean, I um, just so you guys know, if you hadn't followed my stories and stuff on Facebook, I had the NutriSense continuous blood, blood glucose meter for about a week and a half until I inadvertently knocked it off. So totally my fault. But um, so it was really interesting and it was really fascinating. I mean, pe people know I don't have type 2 diabetes. I'm always trying to look to optimize. I'm always trying to figure out what's affecting me, what's not affecting me. And there was something that I was eating um, and there's probably still things that I'm eating that I know are throwing me off. So um, anyway, just really quickly, like it was a great experience for me. Um, I do plan on doing like a separate little live about it, but um, like I found out that for instance, I didn't realize how the stress I was under was actually uh, impacting my blood glucose. That was one thing. 
I think I was in kind of denial about how much stress I was actually under. So that was really interesting to monitor. And that has to do with the stress hormone cortisol, which drives up blood glucose. Um, so that was cool. Um, we could probably do a three hour interview alone on cortisol. Um, so, and then the second thing I noticed was that when I ate nuts, um, those really increased my blood glucose. And that was totally unexpected because there's not a lot of carbohydrates in nuts. Uh, mind you, I did eat some almonds that were coated with agave nectar. So that it was probably agave in that particular case, but not the almonds alone actually did increase my glucose more than I expected. And then I was really fascinated by how um, my blood glucose changed based on when I was working out and how it went up to give me the energy for the workout. So um, all in all, like I was just blown away by some of the things. And I have to say like the app that the NutriSense, um, that NutriSense provides is actually like, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Is it, does it actually, maybe we can explain a little bit about um, how the um, continuous blood glucose monitor works. Um, I'll tell you guys, it did not hurt to put it on. I can vouch for that. Okay. It was, it's like an applicator and you just like literally stick it on the back of your arm and it just feels like somebody kind of slaps you and that's it. Um, you don't really even notice it. So it's painless. And then once it's on, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, so I'll tell you that if you're afraid of needles or whatever, don't be because it was like nothing. Um, but yeah, I'd love to kind of explain to people like how often is it measuring and a little bit about like the data that they see and, um, you know, just, uh, I'll tell you, like, it was really easy to just input what I ate, what I was doing. And then you could see timing wise where my sugars were going based on what I had done. So if you could maybe dive into that, that would be awesome. Yeah, definitely. So, um, I think traditionally, we, like I have mentioned, we always talk about the finger prick device, and that's great for measuring one point in time, but the CGM, so continuous glucose monitor, is exactly like it sounds. It's continuously monitoring your glucose, and you only have to prick yourself one time. So it's this little tiny device that sticks right to your skin, kind of like a Band-Aid, but it's a small round device, and what happens when you insert it into your skin is there's no needle left inside. It's just a small little microfilament that sticks into your interstitial fluid and measures your glucose 24 seven. So as long as you're scanning the device, you can use it just with your phone, at least once every eight hours, you're gonna see your data all day long. So when you're sleeping, you know, when you're exercising, when you're working, you're not having to prick your finger multiple times a day to see that data. And instead of just getting that snapshot in time, you're getting that time lapse, right? Instead of just the high, highlight reel on someone's Instagram, you're seeing the full picture. So you're seeing the highs, the lows, the good, the bad. And like you had mentioned, you can see how stress affects you and how your fasting glucose is doing. So it gives you a lot more information. Yeah, that's um, one of the, the days, I can't remember what day that was, but it's kind of neat because you can slide your finger along mm -hmm. and you can see the numbers there at the top change. Um, and if I go, would go back, like in the day, I could actually find those spikes and then you enter in. So I would just like add the meal that I had add an activity, um, whatever else, you know, if I was having a nap or if I was feeling super stressed, I could make a note of that. And then it would be on the timeline of that graph. So I would know exactly what's affecting what, which is, it's so important, I think, because as somebody who's like adamant with my clients about like, can you please track what you're eating? I know how difficult that can be. And I wanna talk about this because I'm sure you experience this too as a dietitian nutritionist that when you ask people for food diaries, it's hard to be accurate. And a lot of people will avoid putting certain things in for fear of judgment, right? Or whatever fear that might be. Um, with this, you can't like, you can't game the system, right? So there's no way like, you know, so like as a coach or as a nutritionist or someone looking at this, I could be like, well, what did you do at 10 a.m. that made your blood sugar spike, right? So it's kind of a really um, 
great, uh, I don't know how to word this without sounding politically incorrect. <laughs> like it's a great babysitter, right? Um, we, yeah. we always call it our truth meter because you can't hide from that data. And the cool thing about it is you can quickly log what's going on. And then my job as a dietitian, I go in and, and kind of monitor people's data and we can just talk about ways to optimize that. So we can go in and say, hey, you had this larger spike from this, this meal. Is this a food that you love? If so, let's try these things to optimize your response to it. So sometimes we can change up the timing or the portion size or maybe pair it differently with other foods to help optimize your response. So I think you're right. Like as a dietitian, people think that I'm the food police. Not true at all. I'm just trying to optimize your metabolic health. So the CGM's your, your accountability buddy, and I'm gonna reinforce those behaviors and help you interpret them to better your diet and kind of manage that stress and all those other factors gradually over time. So yeah, you can't hide from that data. And I think that's a really good thing. I mean, that avoiding that spike or optimizing those, those values, that's kind of this competition with yourself. You wanna keep doing better and it's avoiding that spike is the best motivation that I've found so far, so. Yeah, it definitely kept me on track and uh, I've been known to crush a bag of potato chips. <laughs> so um, I did not because I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't want it to go up. I was like, no, nope, I don't want my blood sugar to go up. So, but having said that, it's also interesting that you can do little experiments within the app. So if you did want to see like, okay, what effect is that? Like you said, my favorite food, potato chips have on my sugar, you could do a little experiment and the, the dietitians within uh, NutriSense can actually help you to set that up and, and um, figure that out. So I thought that was really cool. Um, maybe what we could cover right now, Carly, is like how the program actually works and what people get when they are um, a NutriSense member and um, sort of like what's the minimum that they can do and how, you know, how all of that works, just to explain the program a bit. For sure. So we try and do programs for everyone's needs. Sometimes people just want to look into their diet really quickly and kind of see how things are going, but they don't want that accountability buddy. They just want to explore a little bit. And that would be really great. We have a, a two week plan that's just one sensor. So 14 days of data, you can see what your metabolism is doing and kind of how your body's responding to the foods that are commonly in your diet, your exercise routine, your sleep, all those different things, and just make sure that you're on the right track or make some small tweaks. If you did want a little bit more um, motivation or you want a big um, change in your life, so uh, maybe you want to reduce your fasting glucose or you want to improve your insulin sensitivity or you just want to focus on weight loss or any other goals, metabolic flexibility is another big one that we see. We have a one month plan, a three month plan, six month and 12 months. So any, you know, whatever it's going to take you to get to your goal, you can monitor your glucose and have the assistance of that dietitian for that time. So our plans include the CGM, so that continuous glucose monitor so that you can monitor what your glucose is doing all the time. And then we have our app, which you had mentioned, and it's just, I think it's really far above all the other apps that kind of go with CGMs because we're focusing on prevention. So instead of just looking at your glucose, we're looking at stress, sleep, fasting, your eating window, all those things. And we're allowing you to kind of monitor those in one cohesive place. So you can see all the things and how they're affecting your metabolism so that we can identify things that maybe need tweaked a little bit and optimize those behaviors over time. So uh, the dietitian comes with all of our programs as well. And like I said, we're not the food police. We're not preaching any specific diet. We work with what our users want. So we have a lot of people that are keto, carnivore. We have a lot of people that are vegan or just kind of a mixed macronutrient diet. And we work with whatever your preferences are, just using your data to optimize that diet of your goal. So we're kind of like your little dietitians in your pocket. Uh, you can message us through the app. We are gonna monitor your data and reach out to help you interpret and kind of experiment with that data. And you can use us however much you want, or if you'd rather kind of go on your own, you can do it that way too. So you get the CGM, the app, the tracking, analytics that tell you your glycemic variability and all the different things that we're monitoring when we look at glucose and that one-on-one -on -one support as well. So Yeah, I was totally impressed by the response time. Um, if I had a question and how quickly someone would get back to me 
and uh, the suggestions being offered, like if you're going to eat those nuts, have some protein with it. And, you know, maybe that wouldn't spike your, so there's just little things that um, I learned and that were really super helpful for me personally. So um, I do want to let you guys know that I do have $35 off for anybody that's interested in this. You just need to private message me and there's a specific link. Um, so NutriSense has offered anybody that um, is affiliated with myself or is interested in trying this, $35 off any of the monthly programs is available. So get in touch with me. And I wanna thank you guys for giving me that because I think it's such a great tool. And like, even if you do it for a month, I think that like the value of that alone for people moving forward for the rest of their lives is huge, right? Um, so, I mean, anybody out there who's concerned about their health and longevity and just being their best as long as possible, I think this is a really valuable thing to do at least for a month. Um, and if you need that more directive coaching, I would definitely stay on, you know, for three, six months or longer because um, the value actually, the cost goes down per month at the more you do. Typically, that's how things work these days. And I think that's amazing. Um, so Carly, did you have any parting thoughts or anything else you wanted to, that we maybe missed or anything else you wanted to cover? I think we did a really good job of hitting on just the basics. There's obviously 10,000 more things that we could talk about, but I, I guess I would just end with saying, um, if you don't measure, you don't know. And it doesn't have to be something that you do all the time, but just make sure that you're empowering yourself with that data to make those meaningful changes in your own life. Because if you're not gonna do it, no one's gonna do it for you. And we always say data over dogma, right? So those one size fits all nutrition plans, those are done. It is all about you and what works for you. And that's what we're here to find with you. So if you wanna learn more, you can find us on our website, nutrisense.io. And we're always putting out new you know, research or tips on our Instagram as well, uh, nutrisense.io. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. So if you want just more information, find us there and, and we're happy to connect. Cool. So it's Nutri, N-U-T-R-I, sense.io. Um, that's awesome. I've learned a lot just from following your pages and stuff as well. And um, it's helping me help more people, which is why I love doing what I do, help pe people be their best as you. And uh, so Carly, I really appreciate your time today. And um, you know, if anyone has any questions whatsoever, you can reach out to myself, you can message NutriSense, whatever, and we will answer the questions to the best of our ability. And if we don't know, we will always try to find the answer for you or someone who, do, who does know the answer. We have lots of resources at our fingertips and uh, we can help you become the best version of yourself, which is what this is really all about. So thanks, Carly. Have a great day. And um, I really appreciate your time and for being on today. And uh, maybe we'll do another one in the future that's more in detail. And um, guys, I will be posting the link um, in the comments so that you can take a look at the website. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much again, Carly. Have a great day. And thanks everyone for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.